Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. And we have a couple videos to get to you today that are updates on Jen Tran. Uh, her season of The Bachelor had ended just a short six days ago. And boy, has her popularity exploded. She is a cult hero in my hometown of New England. And there she is chanting F. Devin. Uh, there is a debate online. Oh, should she be doing this or not? Uh, I'm going to bury the lead right here and say, I love what Jen Tran is doing. I don't think she is promoting any violence or anything his way. She's just enjoying the ride in the popularity. Now, if this was three years from now and she's jumping on t tabletops yelling F Devin, it'd be one thing. But I think you get a window. I think it's when the first two weeks of being publicly broken up on, um, uh, I guess it wasn't a public breakup, but you understand my point. You do. You can you can go ahead and uh, and um, you know uh, uh, chant uh, in front of your ladies uh, from a bar top. The most Boston thing ever. Anyhow, we're gonna get into the story right now. So I can't play the audio. It's shipping up to Boston. Yeah, it's the Dropkick Murphys, which for some reason has become the alcoholic drink of ch uh, song of choice for Red Sox. So here she is getting ready to throw out the first pitch at Historic Museum. Called Fenway Park. That's right. There she is. Let's see if we can get a good shot of her maybe throwing. As she looked like she, from the videos I saw, looks like she had a good toss, but I don't think she shares it here. Um, she's warming up right there and, um, you know, singing uh, along to the Dropkick Murphys. So we're going to see her uh, at post-game celebrations. Here she is on the Jumbotron. Waving to people. And again, the first pitch is like no one's even watching. They're all getting their beers. They're overpriced beers. But here she is. I'll get you know. So yeah, I mean a pretty good toss. Pretty good toss. There she is. She gets some love. But the real fun and interesting part happens after the game. As you know, you go down Boylston, you go to Boston, be a garden kid, you get your blueberry ale. Somebody proposed. It wasn't Jen, that's for sure. Uh not again, at least, not right now. So there she is. Now, her version has the music playing over it, but as you can see, there's about 100 different versions. It's like the Zabruta film here, uh, or I should say it's a way more high-def version of her chanting F. Devin uh, using the bad word. Uh, so we're going to get into that, but uh, what we have to do is go to a different uh, different clip, her non-licensed uh, non music one. So here she is. And it says, our girl Jen is thriving. Now, some, some people said she should have said F you, Devin, because when you say F Devin, it's kind of like, well, is that an endorsement? Like you should be fornicating with him or is it like you're a bad guy? Now, I don't know. You, you have to be here. He, uh, let me let me tell you about the Internet. Let, sit down with old millennial Dave. I'll tell you about the Internet. You have to be wildly looking to be offended if you watch this and think, oh, you know, I mean, look, if Devin came out and said, hey, um, you know, I'm uh, hurt my I'm, I'm hurting so much. And like, uh, you know, if he if he was like in a real bad mental place and you go, OK, well, maybe push, you know, push the brakes on this. But as far as we can tell, if you're Devin, best advice, just get off the Internet for a little bit. Go do your podcast. I've said this all along. And again, I got what I believe to be is completely unreasonable levels of hate from some people with my take, which is that Devin will get a chance to talk and we will listen to what he has to say. That chance to talk wasn't the after the final rose. You might say, but Dave, they asked him a question. No, 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 no. That's not, you're not going into that type of an arena and getting your truth out and whatever. That'll come later on. And you might not want to listen to it, but I will because that's what I do. I cover uh, the show uh, very closely. So of course we're going to listen to what he has to say. Um, is there more to the story than that? Who knows? Who knows? But either way, we don't reject Jen's feelings. She's feeling completely uh, rejected after the season. And, you know, you'll see people, we cover this on this morning's Rush Hour podcast. Gabby Windy was saying, oh, you know, they just give us all these trash men. And it's like at some point, like, look, you picked your finalist, Eric Schwer. 
Jen Tran picked her finalist, Devin. You might say, well, they lied to you. No, I get that. I get that. That's the world. The world we live in is trying to suss out who's got, uh, you know, who's a good person and who's someone who's predatory and this or that. And I'm not saying Devin or Eric are either one of those. It just didn't work out, right? Um, I do want to share more clips because we have a lot of them. I'm going to share what Jen had to say right here. Uh, literally on the pavilion, the rooftop of Fenway Park. I'll have that for you. And uh, look at this. Here we have a guy, a guy giving a rose to Jen. And she went to pull it through the net and the head of the rose broke off. But... Um, She's clearly loving the attention from these Boston bros. They were so excited. They put down a couple Sam Summers and then spent the hot end money and got her a rose. Again, more you know images of the same thing. Look, this is iconic. The, the, I mean, she's going to have this moment for the rest of her life. This is just a fun moment. Her stock will never be so high with it with regards to Bachelor, like the week after what happened. You know, it is a, it is almost a revitalization of the show in a way. This And by the way, I'll say this. This is the type of energy you don't see on the show. The show portrays this 1930s whatever style of like, love and romance like well we're gonna all put on suits and ties and go no that's just not the reality the reality is this is boston love you go to a bar you get loud to you throw your voice out your feet are sticking to the ground and maybe you make out in the back and then go get some falafels after you know what i mean like this is it Someone said, why is she so much fun? I want to be friends with her. Yeah, I, I get that impression too. She seems like uh, the type of person you want to be friends with. Did we see that on the last season of The Bachelor and then Bachelorette? I mean, to, to the to the best extent she could give, but she's not in charge of the edit. She's just there doing her thing. But I think we do get the more confident version of like the more comfortable version of who Jen is. Uh, so anyhow, uh, let's go to what Dear Shandy had to say about Devin. We love the takes that Dear Shandy has. Have a listen. Terrible for Jen in this whole finale, in this whole season. Jen says she can't understand everything that Devin has done since ending the engagement. Turns out the next day, so after he broke up with her on the phone, he followed Maria on Instagram. Amazing. Bad luck. Why wouldn't he do that? Well, yeah. If he was up to this. If, if this was what he was doing all along. Yeah. I mean, it almost feels like too perfect. So Devin says, I actually have the opposite take, which is, you, and again, maybe this is my level of intelligence, not being able to fathom this, that if he was stringing Jen along consciously, he would never follow Maria the next day. He would bury his tracks. He would have all, he would have a much longer out plan. You know, my, my thought is if someone was making this up, they would milk it till well after the, after the final row. Why would you... If you were consciously doing this, I don't understand. And it doesn't mean he's not. I just don't, I can't fathom it. Why would you play it this way? I think you would be way more deceitful. My thought is he was more reactionary, just didn't love her, realized whatever he felt for her wasn't real. And then kind of just went with his emotions and it ended because she was like feeling the, you know, she had the intuition that was like, all right, things are off. Absolutely. Zach Brown song. I saw goodbye in her eyes, right? You know, when somebody's like, Oh, they're not into me anymore. He couldn't fake it. That's my whole thing is he couldn't fake it. Why would you dump someone in this way and then deal with the scorn of the nation and this and that? I just don't see it that way as being preconceived. I see it more as kind of an idiot, not realizing, you know, you're doing an idiot thing. He failed her. There's nothing he can say other than that. Usually I failed you is followed by an I'm sorry. She says he said he was having a hard time with the breakup. Meanwhile, he was in New York City clubbing with Jeremy. Devin is good. And I have to give him that. Being He's good at being a con man. Yeah, yeah. And that is not to say that Devin is a good person. Or that you As a matter of fact, I'm saying Devin is a, probably a bad yeah, person. Yeah, no, no. You're saying he's actually terrible. I'm saying if you are grading based purely on the con, mm -hmm. this is the best I've seen in this franchise. That's just I just, I reject that. God bless them. Love them. Hey, guys, I'll be uh, in New York City October 1st if you want to come into a stand-up show. I reject the idea that it was a con because a con would be played out in a different way. It would be played out in a much smarter way. That's my opinion. 
Jen, Jen, my opinion of Jen has nothing to do with my opinion of Devin in the sense that I just don't see that it could have been so like, you know, this idea that he didn't show any remorse. I don't see that he didn't show any remorse. You know what I mean? People show their emotions differently. Some people, they completely put their wall up. Like I have, we have no idea until we see him on a show. If he goes on Vile Files, smoking a cigarette, you know what? I didn't even like her. You know what? If he plays, oh, okay. Geez. Wow. You know, but my guess is it'll be very much like Greg Grip Grippo, where he was just like, oh my gosh, like, uh, you know, look, doing a lot of therapy, looking in at yourself. How could I have done this? Why did I think I liked her when I really didn't? And how did I do, you know, do all those things? That's what I see. Again, it'll lead to comments going, Dave, you're this, you're that. I go, well, I mean, I'd be lying if I was like, yes, I, I totally, I said this from the first second when reality Steve called him economy and I go, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Um, and you know what, guys? It's okay if we have different opinions. I know. Wild. Uh, so anyway, let's go back to Jen. Here she is giving a speech on the rooftop here. Now, the security guard uh, is paying attention to his duties. Hey. Oh, hold on. We lost it. Here it is. The, the audio is atrociously low, but this is as good as it gets. Absolutely hey. stunning. Insane. We love you! I like her jeans. It feels good to be back, to be back home with you all. And to just be surrounded by love. It's been a tough week, I have to say. It's not been the best. But we're just chugging along and believing that when one door closes, another opens. And oh, wow. I'm yeah. I'm just so excited to be here with you guys. All right, so she said, when one door closes, another one opens, and then out of the background, someone yelled, Jonathan, and then she laughed. Now, uh, of course, that's in reference to how busy her and Jonathan have been making content in Los Angeles. Um, I don't know if we have any of those videos readily available. Uh, here's one of them. That was Everybody the, uh, th this was the big one here, of course. Did very well. Uh, 700,000 hearts. I mean, how many views did this thing get? Of course, Jonathan was revealed. You know, they might be friends. Who knows? Who knows if there was any... Sorry, I mean, you know, we'll have to see. Only time will tell. Next week, we'll see Jen on our screens on Dancing with the Stars. I will be recapping Jen. I'm very excited to see her, but I'm more excited to see Steven Nadorzik from the pommel horse, the Olympics. I'm so excited to see him. Although I am looking forward to see what Jen has to do. She's pretty athletic. I mean, Jen's pretty athletic. She's a field hockey player, or a lacrosse player, whatever, either one. And so I think that athleticism will at least uh, get her on the right step as it were, as she learns. I mean, I bet you Jen here, I'm making my, I'm making my uh, brave prediction right now. Jen's going to crush the Viennese waltz. I, I, that is my favorite dance on Dancing with the Star. I love the Argentinian tango. That's the one that's everyone's like, that's a, that's the sexy one. Of course, I love a good, uh, you know, I don't like the, I don't like the hoppy ones, like the cha-cha, you know, to, dancing the cha-cha. It's Jen Tran. No, I don't like this, but the Viennese wall, I mean, the beauty, the gate, the holding the, uh, you know, da, 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 you know, the, you know, I mean, I have a good bar, right? Don't I have a good, okay. Anyhow, um, I will be giving my updates as they come in. I, I hope she takes it seriously and I hope she crushes it i think if she can i know she has no dance experience although she did say she took one ballroom class in college i gotta tell you that's 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 not a bad start so we'll have to see if she can bring it very excited for her and for this sort of very disney-like story now you could look at it from a negative perspective and go well you know, they only invited her to do Dancing with the Stars last minute. They invited her to be the Bachelorette last minute. It's like, can you just give this give this gal a little bit of a, um, a notice? <laughs> you know, can you give her a heads up? Next thing you know, she's gonna be off filming Survivor last minute. Like, but she's um she's she's cr she's crushing these opportunities when a door opens and opportunity knocks. Uh, she's knocking it the hell down, and she's standing on that bar top and she's handing out shots. And I love it. I really love it. I think this is a fresh energy. Let me know what you guys think. We'll be back with more content right after this.